everyone, Wayne from the CERN and Earth and Space Center here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the object you can see right behind my shoulder, and that is Comet C-2022 E3ZTF. That is a comet that could possibly be visible to the naked eye coming up here towards the end of the month of January in 2023 and the beginning of February. Now, here around Chicagoland, where the Cernan Center is located, it's going to be pretty difficult to spot this one, but if you have the ability to find some pretty dark skies, well, then your chances will increase to be able to spot this. I'm going to show you where and how you can find this in the sky, and hopefully you'll all be able to find it. So let's jump right into our Sky Simulator software and take a look. So here we are, standing in front of the Cernan Earth and Space Center, uh, Triton College in River Grove, Illinois, just outside the city of Chicago. I have our date set here, as you can see, for the evening of January 19th. Now, that'll be our starting date. We're set for 9 o'clock at night. And in all honesty, the best time to go out and look for this comet is going to be in the early morning. That's when it will be higher up in the sky and a little bit easier to see. But many of us, myself included, don't want to wake up and get out of bed at 3 o'clock in the morning to go out and take a look into the night sky. And that's okay, because you don't have to do that. You can see it in the early evening. It's just going to be a little bit harder to find it due to some increased light pollution. So looking out, we're looking towards the northern part of the sky. I'm going to bring on our constellation lines so that we can have a better idea of what we're looking at here. We can see we have Ursa Major and the Big Dipper right here. There's Ursa Minor and the North Star. We have other constellations such as Cepheus, Cassiopeia, Draco, and Camelopardus. All of these are going to be right where this comet is going to be passing through. Now I'm going to bring us forward day by day so we can follow the path of this comet as it goes through the sky. And we're going to keep our time set for 9 o'clock in the evening. So on the 19th, it's not quite visible at 9 o'clock at night yet. But if you go wait one more day, it is going to start coming up over the horizon. And as we travel forward in time, we will see a little marker here of that faint comet beginning to rise up just above the trees here around the Cernan Center. It's going to keep moving up as time goes on. See, as I increase day by day, getting higher and higher in the sky every night at 9 o'clock in the evening. And as we go forward a little bit more, right towards the end of the month of January, it's going to be passing right in between the two dippers in the sky. Now, that is very helpful because the Big Dipper is full of nice bright stars that we can see even here around the city of Chicago. And we can use that Big Dipper to point our way to that North Star by using the two stars on the end of the bowl of that big spoon. Draw a line between them, keep following it across the sky, and it will point you right towards Polaris, the North Star. And if you go outside, say on the 28th or the 29th, it's going to pass right next to that comet. So the 29th is going to be a really good time to go out and try and catch it. If you have sort of a lot of light pollution around you, you can use the Big Dipper to draw a line between those two stars. It will pass right next to that comet in the sky and then continue on to the North Star. So right in between those stars, you should be able to spot that comet. Now, it's going to be pretty hard to see with just the naked eye, especially if you live around a heavily populated area. Light pollution is going to make it tough. But if you have a small telescope or a good set of binoculars, definitely try and spot this comet. It's going to be slightly green in color, and it should be have a, a bit of a tail coming off of it, probably like a fuzzy point of light in the sky. So it should kind of stick out compared to the rest of the stars that you'll be seeing out there. Now, this comet was just discovered last year in 2022 in March. Um, by the Zwi Zwicky Transient Facility, which is what ZTF stands for, and that is the facility that discovered this object. Uh, first, they thought it was an asteroid, but quickly discovered that it was a comet, and its period is 50,000 years, which means it takes 50,000 years for it to complete one orbit around the sun. That means that the last time that this comet was visible in our nighttime skies was 50,000 years ago. There might have been some cavemen looking up at the sky and noticing this bright green dot with a bit of a tail coming off of it. Now, 
if you keep watching as the time goes on, it's going to pass in between those stars of the Big and Little Dippers and keep getting higher into the sky. And on February 1st is a great time to go out and take a look because that is the evening that it will be passing at the closest to Earth in its orbit. We call it the perigee. Now, this is where it's closest to Earth, so that means it might be a little bit brighter in the sky, a little bit easier to see. Hopefully, it's not too cloudy out there, um, and that's going to be a really good time to go out and take a look. And then as time goes on, it's going to keep rising up higher in the sky, getting farther and farther away from the Earth, and eventually it will disappear and be a little bit harder to find. So go out there and take a look. Your best chance for naked eye viewing without binoculars or a telescope is to go out and see it right around between January 31st and February 1st, somewhere in those few days. And if you can get far away from the city lights, even better. Then you might be able to spot it with just your eyes. But if you're stuck around the city, bring out some binoculars, take a look in between the big and little dippers, and hopefully you can spot this comet. Well, thank you everyone for taking a look at the sky with me today. Hopefully you can get out somewhere nice and dark and take a look for Comet C slash 2022 E3 ZTF for yourself. If you are able to see it, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you and find out how you were able to find this comet in the sky. If not, that's okay. Take a look out there anyway. The most important thing is to get out there and look at your own night sky.